Okay, uh, another question, or a question, pardon me, a question I should say, on uh, whether we have a gain or loss when we get rid of equipment. So what we got here is ABC Company purchased equipment on January 1st, 2018 for $27,500. Uh, we're going to suppose they sold it uh, for $20,000 on December 31st. Accumul accumulated depreciation as of December 31st, 2020 was $10,000. We want to journalize the sale of the equipment assuming uh, straight line depreciation. So. What we really got here is um, we're selling this for twenty thousand um, dollars. The accumulated depreciation up to this point was ten thousand dollars. So uh, we'll pull out our pertinent facts here. We got historic cost of twenty-seven five. Uh, we have uh, sale price of 20,000 we have accumulated depreciation of 10,000 and we want to journalize the sale uh, of this equipment so what we got to do when we whenever we dispose or sale of equipment we got to bring the accumulated depreciation up to date if we need to uh, let's see in this case we don't since we sold on December 31st and that would be uh, a yearly thing we're assuming that we're running a fiscal year from January 1st to December 31st we don't need to bring that up to date however what we do need to do is think we have to get the historical cost off of the balance sheet for assets uh, because we're not going to have this asset anymore this equipment and we've also got to get rid of the accumulated depreciation so we're thinking about this let's see we sold it on December 31st so 12 31 our journal entry what we got here we can think of first we sold the equipment for twenty thousand dollars so we know we got cash so here's cash and we we'll debit that for twenty thousand and then we also have we have to bring the accumulated depreciation up to date so we'll take the accumulated depreciation and we're going to assume this is on equipment uh, that's ten thousand dollars and we need to get um, the historical cost or the equipment off the book since we no longer own it so I would assume we're going to assume they just listed this as equipment and we want to credit this for uh, $27,500 the historic cost of it so what we can see here is our debits here add to 30,000 our uh, credits add to 27.5 so what we've got here is we've got $2,500 missing on the credit side and when we're thinking about this basically what we're saying here is we had a gain on the sale of equipment of $2,500 because it's in the credit column it's a gain if the discrepancy would have been in the debit column that would have been a loss but since it wasn't and and basically here for these gains and sales we're just filling in the blanks with what we don't know and what we don't know is whether we have a gain or a loss and in this case we had a gain so hopefully this illustrates uh, the sale uh, of an equipment or, or a, a, an asset when we uh, have to realize a gain or loss so take care stay safe and bye for now